Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kudash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God in Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. Also, want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that push the teachings truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere believers. All right. And here with the article from CNBC.com. All right. And just uh, um, what's going on in the news. All right. And this is from December 6, 2022. So this is recent. All right. And to the point is uh, to the point of that the world we know now is slowly fading away. All right. The world we know in the, uh, the daily operations of, of this society and of this life are slowly changing. All right. It's slowly fading away. OK. As the scriptures have said, man. OK. And it's, and it's going to only make these times worse, make these times even evil. All right. Or increasing evils, I should say. All right. So this is uh, CNBC.com. It reads rising thefts, rising thefts at Walmart could lead to price jumps, store closing, CEO says. All right. And Walmart is the, is a huge, <laughs> huge, uh, is huge in, within, within, uh, within everyone's daily life, man. All right. Walmart, huge company, man. It says could lead to price jumps. Store closings, all right. Those are two uh important or you know greatly, you know, uh greatly emphasized points within this uh just within the title itself. Price jumps, that's that's inflation within itself that's get caused, you know, uh struggles, you know, to households, families, okay? And once Walmart does these such things, your target will follow suit, your Publix, your Kroger, all these eighties, the uh these huge companies, all right. Walmart just being this, this being uh, in this case just listed as one, all right. But rising thefts at Walmart could lead to price jumps, store closures, all right. CEO says, okay. But it says, let's see if it's, uh, it says Walmart store stores across the United States are ga grappling with the uptick in shoplifting. That could lead to higher prices or closed stores if the problem persists. <laughs> it says Walmart CEO Doug McMillan said Tuesday. All right. So, yeah, because people are taking to things to their own hands, man. All right. Because the world, hey, the world is, is through. The world is struggling. All right. The world is down bad. OK. Because of inflation, you know, concerning the gas, concerning uh, other stores, not just Walmart. OK. Is the people people are down back? Uh, look at the housing market concerning rent, concerning mortgages. All right, high interest rates are right, on purchases. Okay, people are down back. So yeah, you have the 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 thefts and the shoplifting. Okay, which is gonna which is gonna uh basically have the so called white man Esau Edom crack down on the masses even harder. All right, even stronger, going to bring that great wrath. It says. All right, that's true. That's true to the point. But I read, I read a little bit more. It says we've got safety measures, security measures that we put in place by store location. Think local law enforcement being staffed and, a, and being a good partner is part of the equation, and that normally how we approach it. All right. Let's see. Uh, it says Walmart isn't the only big box retailer dealing with the uptick in theft. So yeah, that back that backs up the point what I mentioned earlier. Walmart is not going to be the only store. Upticking the prices, you know, uh, or even the store closing. All right, it's going to be many other stores, man. That's going to cause a struggle to many, to many families and many people's livelihood. Okay, this is leading to more than four hundred million in losses in the, in this fiscal year alone. So yeah, they they they're, they're losing out on money. Okay, the so called white man loves is his money. All right, simple as that. Okay, but. That was the point on that. Uh, you know, yeah, the point is made concerning this article. All right. And I want to grab this first Corinthians chapter seven, verse 31. And I brought that out or the article sparked, you know, interest because hey, the, what the, the world, we know it. All right. 
it's, it's going to slowly change, man. The so-called white man is going to change things up. And it's going to mainly be due to that uh, central bank digital currency, and it, which will also lead to the MOTB, which is that technology device, to go into your human bodies. He's going to change up the world, man. Okay? And that's all the say of the scriptures. That's all the say of the Bible. All right? But this is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. Okay? For the fashion of this world passeth away. And I want to grab that, that word uh, and within the Greek. Scheme. All right? Or skyme or scheme. All right? Which truly goes into manner of life all right so the, the world as we know it today would change up its manner of life though its way of doing things okay because you got you got you got thieves you got rob you got the shoplifting all right they're gonna change things up all right which which uh is a reason why they want to bring what it is a reason why they want to centralize all the information all right with on one on that one chip on that one chip which is the motb okay the rfid that are i that RFID chip, man. All right. So yeah, the manner of life concerning uh the world as we know it today. All right. So people are thinking, you know, themselves. Let me get that with first first Thessalonians. Okay. The so called white man is gonna bring a, a a huge change. Okay. This is first uh first Thessalonians chapter five verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right, everyone's going about their day to day lives. You know, and they'll come across an article as such as this, you know, and just fan their hand at it, roll their eyes, ignore it. All right, not realizing this, hey, this articles like these it can simply change your life. Store closing, then where you're going to go, you we, we, due to the curses of that, how will Bashim Yahushai put on the Israelites for you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans? And we go to we go to the uh to the Esau Eden, the so-called white man, these other nations for the one of all things due to the curses. All right. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, these hey, our people have a great have a, have a horrible time coming to them, all right, very, very soon. All right, due to Bible prophecy. Okay. Verse four, but ye brethren are not a darkness that that they that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, because we're alert, man. We're watching what's going on in the news. All right, things that seem minor and things that and things that are major. Simple as that. It says, "But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that they should overtake you as a thief." All right, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Yeah, let us, you know, take heed and you know, listen and watch out for what's going on around us. All right. Take you know, make your your local grocery stores, your your local retail stores, whatever it is, man, small or big, being on being on our watch and warning our people for what's ahead. All right, so it won't overtake them for those that take heed and believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. That's what it boils down to. Verse seven: For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Verse eight: But let us who are of the day be sober. Put it on the breastplate of faith and love, and for and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Yeah, that's what we're hoping in. That's the that's the tunnel vision. We're hastening the day of the return of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, we put we we we're, the, we're in that focused mindset. All right, doing the will of the Lord. Okay, being sober, being watchful. Okay, it says verse nine: For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, so yeah, we you know. Lord willing, we endure to the end to be saved. The Lord didn't, didn't appoint us to wrath. He didn't reserve us for judgment because he, he gave us the Holy Spirit. That, that Yeah, the Holy Spirit of that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. And of these prophecies to, to uh, be aware, okay, before these events actually take place. Be aware, you know. Be, be, uh, be already on our watch, okay, because he didn't appoint us to wrath, man. Lord willing, he appointed us to be delivered on those uh, chariots. What the world calls UFOs. Simple as that. All right. So lastly, I want to uh, grab. You know, I want to grab. Uh, let me see. Uh, Second Edges chapter 16. All right. Second Edges chapter 16 verse 18. Okay. And it reads. 
the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. So yeah, we're in the time we're living in right now. It's truly the, we're we're truly at the beginning of sorrows, man. We're just at the beginning stages of the so called white man changing this thing up, changing this manner of life up. Okay, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. All right, the be, it was it was famine, dying of starvation and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. Yeah, so it's not so the begin we're at the beginning of wars. So it's those that shoplifting you see. It's going to soon turn into violence. All right. All right. Soon turn into violence. People are going to take things to their own, take matters to their own hands. It says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. Yeah, the Lord is truly having all these things go on for our people to understand punishment for correction. That is. All right, for them to understand, Avery, you have you must repent and serve your serve your power, your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh before it is too late. But what verse twenty says, but for all these things, they shall not return from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Yeah, because our people are hard headed and stiff necked. Our people just won't get it, and ultimately, it's going to take death by pain for our people to understand. Simple as that. And verse twenty one goes right along uh, or aligns directly with First Thessalonians chapter five verse three. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Yeah, people are not aware of what's about to take place upon the planet earth. People people are not aware of what Elon Musk is about to do concerning the brain implant. He's not a, they, people are not aware that uh uh <laughs> the CEOs are, are stepping down, store stores are closing. Okay. People are not aware that a great the sword, a lot of violence is about to take place. A lot of people are about to starve to death. And great confusion is going to be going on because people are not going to know what to do and why these things are happening. Simple as that, man. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And what is and just and just what Walmart alone. Walmart uh, is a retail store. Hey, it's also it holds uh it holds food and water. You know? It holds it holds victuals, man, resources. OK, you damn near can find everything at Walmart. So Walmart closing down hey, that's a, a whatever and whatever location that may be in different states or different cities. That's a big deal. You know, that's a big deal, man. OK, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So, yeah, people that don't die from violence, getting shot to death, stabbed to death, you know, tortured. All right. Shall the hunger shall shall die of the famine? Those that don't die of the famine shall die of the violence, man. The chaos going on. All right, so we're coming into t treacherous times, man. Horrible, horrific, whatever uh, adjective you want to put with it. Okay, we're coming in very, very evil and bad times, man. And it's time for our people to become aware of what the hell is going on. Okay, and this is but this is all does say of the scriptures. This is all does say of truly the will of the Lord. Okay, so Lord willing, um. Uh, this lesson was edifying, also encouraging to you, sincere believers. I went out by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechai Kodash. All right, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and Shalom. Shalom, keep the faith. Shalom.